Tell me, why did you come here? I have bad news, Emperor. What? Emperor received the information that Mr. Hakim has created an army. He is taking advantage of your absence, and he is busy planning an attack on Agra. It was my mistake. I should have dealt with him long ago already. Why does it always happen, King Burma, whenever I forgive someone because I consider them family, they end up attacking me? There's nothing to worry about, Emperor. Valihead is willing and ready to fight, and Prince Murad and Daniel both have his back. Mirza Hakim. Mirza Hakim, Queen Jora. He has united with Sharifuddin against me, one of his own brothers. And he is busy planning an attack on Agra. The two of us keep bumping into each other time and time again, Queen Jora. I will take it as a sign that the two of us are meant to be together forever. You are here. So that means Jalal has to be here as well. Now it is your turn to feel the pain that others have felt. The pain you have caused them, you will have to feel. You are going to have to bear it. You are going to have to bite on your teeth, since it is what you deserve. Dishonoring women in a war is not a fair way to win any battle. The only thing that I want is to defeat the king. I will not tolerate Queen Jorda being insulted. And that is not going to happen on my watch, since I still have a lot of respect for my dear sister-in-law, Joda. Now tell me, Jagdev, how did all the food grains get in your hands? I am so sorry, Your Highness. I have made a big mistake, and I am far too greedy. If you had done this to me, I might have forgiven you for it, but you have committed this crime against my people. My innocent people are all busy dying of hunger, and that is all thanks to you, Jagdev. Some of Mirza Hakim's men were passing by me, and I heard them talking. That's why I challenged them. They wounded me and they ran away. But then I managed to grab one of them. I've tied him up not far from here, against a tree. <laughs> Who are you? <laughs> and then I will make a deal with the king in order to spare my life since it is the only way that I can get Jorda back. And then when the king comes here, he will not only lose his own life, but Jorda as well. And after that, I'm going to capture Agra. And then I will get my revenge on Bakshi Banu for my humiliation too. <laughs> I have sent my spies in all directions, and once I get any news about Sharifuddin, I am going to find him, and I'm going to arrest him in no time. And after that, I am going to punish him for this. Nobody is going to be able to protect you from me today, Queen Joda. I promise you that I'm going to make all your dreams come true today. Don't you even think about touching me, Sharifuddin. Move away! <laughs> what happened to Metab? Doctor, why aren't you doing anything? I'm trying the very best that I can, Your Highness. Oh, goodness! I hope that God will have mercy on my child. This is the last medicine now. Hopefully it's going to help her. No. <laughs> this, these are symptoms of the disease that has been spreading throughout the empire. <laughs> this will bring her fever under control by tomorrow morning. That is fine, doctor, but what has happened to Queen Jorda? Why did she feel dizzy and fall down? Doctor, I am asking you something. King, please spare my life. I regret to say the disease that has spread in the kingdom has sadly affected Queen Jodha as well. What? And please remember one thing, that Sheku should not suffer. Your Highness, you can rest assured he is my brother and future son-in-law. I will protect him and I will make sure that he will win this battle. People's houses were shattered and their happiness was stolen. So how can you have your happiness? You consider yourself ruler of those people. If you trouble them, how can you be happy? No, no, no. I have, I have, I have saved the tombs. You will have to save my Queen Jorda. You will have to save my Queen Jorda. My child, please save my Queen Jorda's life. Why is this happening to her? I would much rather this was happening to me than to her. She doesn't deserve this. Why is this happening to my dear Jota of all people? I do not see why you will not follow in your father's footsteps. Just go ahead and behead your enemy. 
just like your father did to my mother, Machuchuk. Murder me in cold blood, just like your father did to my mother. You are just like your father was. You are mistaken, Mirza Hakim. The Emperor would never do such a thing. You know him better than that. I made mistakes and I was conceited. It was out of character. I made fun of your esteem and your talent. And I even made fun of your attempt to try stabilize me. And that's why I'd like you to forgive me if possible. What you did back then was destiny. However, today, what you have done is majestic. And you should be proud. Ketub, I would like to be the kind of king where all of my subjects have no problems while I rule. Every subject should have enough food to eat. No one should go hungry. They will have a house to live in. And no sick person will go without being treated. And also, it will be a kingdom where no one is forced just like an Arkeli to become a dancer. I've heard news that you have dubbed your son Salim as the crown prince. I would like to inform you that your marriage with Joda, the princess of Amir, is illegal as per Islamic rules and regulations. Because as per the Islamic rules, Joda has not yet converted to Islam. She is still an idol worshiper, and so idol worshippers are not Muslims. Since this marriage is illegal, Prince Salim too will be regarded as illegitimate. Which is why under no circumstances could Prince Salim be an heir to the Mughal throne.